Hey all you cool cats and kittens. Here are my tips for managing your pets, especially cats. Dog. Dog. Two cats. Cat. Dog. See ya. I'm already home a lot, but I think the most important thing throughout all this is to keep your pet's routine as close to what it was. If you usually come home from work at six o'clock at night uh, and feed your cats, but they come chasing after you at 4.30 because they heard you rustling a bag of pretzels, do not cave and feed your cat. Stick to your normal meal times, even if it is painful. Go ahead and keep doing that just because Routine is very important for pets. Dollop and I have a fun routine where she likes to wake me up at 4 a.m. by playing with the blinds, and that hasn't changed at all. If you need to give bribes to get them to be quiet during your conference call, it's okay to give a couple treats. I have two cats. They'll jump on my lap in the middle of a video call. My tip is to give them food right before I need to get anything done. Look, the rules go out the window right now, at least some of them. That way they're satisfied, they can take a little nap afterwards, and I can get some much needed alone time to really zero in on the day's tasks. This is Coach, and I absolutely love this puzzle because it functions as a dog bowl, but it stimulates the dog and keeps them busy and it makes sure they don't eat too fast. And it probably buys you about two to four extra minutes, especially when you're working at home. That can be very important before they go on to their next need, which is in our case, he needs his walk right after he eats. What I like to do is walk super late at night and super early in the morning with the dog. It's very quiet, very peaceful. You're not running into any crowds like you are during the day. Another tip that I like is to create a seat for your cat. If you're setting up a desk for yourself, set up a desk for your cat. It could be another chair, it could be a small folding table so that they feel like that they are in the situation with you, but they are not on your lap, on your keyboard, on your other keyboard, sitting on your mouse. Lila. She'll jump on my desk sometimes in front of my computer while I'm working. I have this little battery operated toy called a hex bug. It kind of moves the way an insect would move. And so I can just turn it on and leave it out in the living room for her and it'll keep her occupied for a long time. This is my tip for working from home with your dog. Every few hours, just pet him and remind him that I see you, you are a good boy, and I acknowledge you. That way he never thinks you're ignoring him and he just gets to ignore you on his own terms. I must say, if you do work from home, it is nice to have a cuddly animal. Something warm to snuggle with while you type. Try not to spill fernet on your pets, especially if they're all white. Oh my god, that fernet stain on her ear is killing me. 